hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's video we have a light motor is installed at the top of a pole rigidly fixed on a platform okay uh, a light rod of length r is rigidly attached to the motor shaft at its one end and the other end a small ball of mass m is attached the rod can be rotated in a vertical plane like this with the help of the motor total mass of the platform and the motor is eta times the mass of the ball okay so mass of the motor plus platform is eta times of m the motor rotates the rod at a constant angular velocity fine the platform is placed on a horizontal surface where coefficient of friction is mu so coefficient of friction is here mu at what minimum angular velocity omega naught of the rod will the platform start sliding fine so just before solving this question let me tell you a simple thing that if there is a rough surface and I place a block of mass m here if the coefficient of static friction is mu the minimum force that is required to just pull this block will be this one mu times mg divided by root over 1 plus mu square and this force must be applied at an angle theta where theta equals tan inverse mu if you don't know how this thing came uh, please comment down below so I can make a separate video on this concept okay but just remember for this video that if you apply this amount of force at this angle the block will just start to move okay and this one will be the minimum force okay uh, because below this force you won't be able to uh, slide this block on that surface fine so we'll use this concept in this problem so if i draw the pole i mean the inverted t-shaped pole its mass is eta times m okay and uh, whenever it will feel a force t where t must be equal mu times the mass of the pole root over 1 plus mu square where mu is the coefficient of static friction then only it will start to slide and this is the minimum condition okay and this force must be applied at an angle theta where theta equals tan inverse mu fine and now who will uh, basically apply this force this force will be applied due to the rotation of this mass okay as this mass is rotating in a vertical circle and let us consider that angular velocity or you can say the minimum angular velocity be omega or as it is given in the question omega naught fine uh, so at this instant this mass is performing a circular motion considering this point as the center so force due to gravity is mg here it is a t this one is 90 minus theta so you can write for this mass that net force towards the center that is t plus mg cos 90 minus theta equals m omega square r right um, so t plus mg sine theta equals m omega square r t is mu times eta mg divided by root over 1 plus mu square plus mg sine theta so how can i find sine theta tan theta is mu so mu 1 root over 1 plus mu square so sine theta is mu divided by root over 1 plus mu square equals m omega naught square r m gets cancelled out sorry fine so let us simplify this one this one becomes 1 plus mu square so taking g mu common 1 plus eta omega naught square r so finally we get omega naught equals mu g 1 plus eta divided by r times 1 plus mu square so this is the minimum angular velocity with which this mass must rotate to just slide this whole system okay and that thing will happen when the rod makes an angle theta with the horizontal well theta is tan inverse mu fine so this is our expression and now if you use the values given in the question we will get an answer of 
five radians per second. Okay. So I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and if you like this video, please give give a thumbs up. Thank you very much.